News from around the region and from around the state. This is a Florida Focus News. Hello and welcome to Florida Focus. I'm Christian Minus. We have new information tonight about another possible African-American cemetery, this time under McDill Air Force Base. This comes just one day after Hillsborough County announced they found 145 caskets under King High School. In just 30 minutes, the Clearwater City Council will decide the fate of their e-scooter ban. If they reverse last January's ban, they will add strict regulations to address residents' concerns. They are proposing a limit of 200 scooters, and people will only be able to ride between 6 and midnight. With Thanksgiving just one week away, Metropolitan Ministries need your help filling their shelves. Reporter Paige Brooks has the details. Distribution of boxes of hope are underway. They include a turkey and essentials to make a complete holiday meal, plus additional food to last three days. They need another 75,000 pounds by next Wednesday to make it through Thanksgiving. Our most needed items are yams, cranberry sauce, turkeys, and hams. The holiday tents are expecting to help 30,000 families this year. Reporting for Florida Focus, I'm Paige Brooks. Right now, a ribbon cutting ceremony is underway at Tampa's newest park. Harvest Hope Park is an environmentally friendly space developed for families living in the university area. It's seven acres, it has a multi-purpose sports field, and a pond with a dock for fishing. Food that grows in the community garden is free, and there's also a teaching kitchen. Construction took five years, and the park's goal is to encourage residents to live sustainably. Blink and you might miss it. A rare unicorn meteor shower is happening tonight around 11.50. Scientists are expecting over 400 meteors to glide through the skies, if you want a good view of the show, make sure you stay away from bright lights, find an elevated spot, and use a telescope or binoculars. That's all we have for Florida Focus. Thank you for watching.